Hey guys, so I've heard some complaints around that uh, we just freak out if anybody talks about serving the Lord or anything like that. And, you know, we cry foul and we say it's law and all this kind of stuff. Well, in a way it is. Um, if, if you're not pointing people to Jesus Christ and just ministering Christ to people and trusting that, you know, teaching them to walk by the Spirit, to live by faith, to live by the Spirit and not the letter, then there's not going to be any strength there, uh, any ability or strength to do the things that they should do. And if you're just, if you're teaching the shoulds, if you're not ever um, distributing the meat of the word, uh, and people can't come to just eat and drink of Christ and grow up in the Lord, be fir firmly rooted and established and growing up, maturing in the Lord, growing in grace and the knowledge of Christ, um, and you're just telling them you should do this and you should do that. It kind of, it does come off as sheep beating because you that that is the principle of law, um, and it awakens the flesh. You know, the law is the strength of sin, and we know what we should and shouldn't do, but we don't have the power to do those things. Um, the power of the strength in the flesh to do those things. And, uh, you know, like Paul said in Romans that, um, he knows, you know, he knows what he should do and what he shouldn't do. Um, but he finds in his, in his flesh and his members, another law that works against that, against the law of God that is good, right? God's ways are good. They're they're holy and and powerful and wonderful we can agree with that but there's there's another law that works in our members and he said who will who will save me from this body of death you know thank thank god thank you for jesus christ my lord it's through jesus only he is the one by the spirit when we live according to the spirit and not the letter and we serve in the spirit and not the letter um, it, that, that's the only way we have this continuous, this newness of spirit, which is a continuous flow from the Lord into us, into our souls. And it awakens and washes and revives us and motivates us and all of those things. And it's Christ, you know, being manifest in our mortal bodies. And that's what people that are, you know, carnal Christians cannot understand. If if there's not a carrot and stick, a reward and punishment motivation to do things, they're, they're not going to do it and they don't know why you would either. It's the same with, you know, the, the carnal mind is enmity with against God and the things of God and can't understand things of God. And if you're carnal and you're not able to digest any of the meat of the word, the stuff we talk about is just going to sound nonsensical to you. You know, you're going to be like, what? That, walking by faith, that ain't nothing. You know, that doesn't mean anything, you know, to live by faith. Um, it just means you're lazy and you don't want to do anything. Or, you know, it's the same thing with unsaved people because they're carnal and they can't understand the things of God that tell you that without law, you just want a license to sin and you're just going to send it up like crazy if you think you're going to you know, if you believe in once saved, always saved, then all, you're just going to be a horrible sinner. Just, you know, because they they have a form of godliness, but deny its power. This is just another level up. This is for actual believers that are carnal, that cannot understand how to live the Christian life. And what happens if I tell myself, I know what I should do and what I shouldn't do, okay? I'm not stupid. <laughs> and we, we all know. And, but... Where in being told what you should do or what you shouldn't do, or what they like to call encouraging believers to service, how do you encourage someone to service apart from just telling them what they should be doing with no power or strength of the spirit in it? You you are just ministering letter. You're just saying this is what you should do. If you're going to meet the standard, you better do it. You know, it's the letter, and it it has no power, no strength, no life in it. And the law has, does not have the power to impart life. It's only death and condemnation because you'll begin to realize how you feel short and you'll feel condemned. 
and we need Jesus Christ to save us from this body of death. And it's a con when we talk about walking in newness of spirit, it is a day by day, mo moment by moment thing where we are completely dependent on the Lord and we know we can't do anything. And the problem is a lot of people have a lot of strength in their flesh and they have not come to the end of themselves. They haven't been such a mess up tried hard enough for long enough and realize that they failed, that they just come, they just come to the Lord and say, Lord, I give up, you know, and just fall apart. <laughs> I fell apart in tears and just, at, just complete, completely gave up before the Lord. And I felt this burden just lift off to me, lift off of me. And, you know, I'm never going to let anybody put that burden back on me ever again. You know, if anything good is going to happen in this lady right here, it's going to be Jesus Christ that's doing it, not me. Because I just have to look to him in faith and trust him to bring it about. He'll finish the good work that he began in me. He will um, animate my mortal body as I renew my mind and bring thoughts captive by walking by faith to the obedience of Christ and have the mind of Christ be in agreement with him by agreeing with the word and washing in the water of the word according to his gospel and he is real and he is powerful and he indwells me and he he will allow me to walk in the good works that he's prepared for me specifically and there's a lot of works that don't seem like works that he considers good works, right? Just even thoughts of your mind are a good work when you're agreeing with the Lord. When you're walking by faith, you are pleasing him. And he is pleased, and that's a, a good work. You know, um, in the Old Testament, he called repenting of sin. When Nineveh turned from their sin, he said it was a work. He saw the works. I mean, just, uh, just even uh, your heart uh, rejoicing. And singing thanksgiving to God is a good work. There are so many things that count for good works. It's unbelievable. And these things are going to last. They're not going to burn up. Uh, they're by the Spirit while you're walking in the Spirit. And there's things you can do that don't even seem, you know, just at your normal job. And your day-to-day -day life and everything you do. You don't have to go out and, you know, set up a, a booth on the street corner and, give away free lemonade with the gospel tracks or you know I mean whatever it is it's usually people that do stuff like that I hate to say it are just serving from their flesh and they're trying to put God in their debt and I've made a bunch of posts about how you just simply can't do that and that's not how it works you know grace and works and uh, grace and law are polar opposites and they oppose each other and it can't be both at the same time so anyway I just want to talk about that a little bit how we don't like I've noticed I feel this way and people in our community feel this way we don't like being told what we should do and it does feel like law and it feels like beating the sheep when we're told because there's all it makes us feel is like well yeah you know well how does that help me go out and do it or else, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it doesn't work. You either get what I'm talking about or you don't. If you have a lot of strength in your flesh, you're not going to get what I'm talking about. But if you're relying on the Lord, you know that that is not helpful to be told what you should do. All we can do is, you know, minister Christ, the riches of Christ to each other and the comforts we've been comforted with and in that way encourage one another to walk by faith and not fear and trust the Lord trust the Lord that he will do his work in each person and he does you know I think it's funny that or I don't even think it's funny I think it's ironic that a lot of these people that call us lazy don't have as far as I can tell the works that they're fighting so hard for um, there were certain channels 
uh, YouTube channels that we had a falling out with a couple years ago and they were what they were mad about is that you know what is good works and they thought that all their works pretty much were good and that keeping the law was a good thing to pursue um, not to be saved but because you love the Lord after you're saved but the motivation was and was obviously flesh because then they were judging us judging everyone around them because they didn't live by the same principle and um, they thought started saying we were lazy and we just didn't want to do good works and we got mad if people um, admonished or encouraged others to do it and you know I've no if you look at their channels now they're gone they don't have ministry anymore they don't they don't have anything and I'm like well you know maybe they're out there doing some kind of secret work somewhere else but I kind of doubt it I think they're just keyboard warriors that want to talk about uh, an idealistic principle that they have because I know it doesn't work that way um, you either do it by faith according to the spirit or you're not you're not doing anything you might be working real hard but it's not uh, you're not building with anything but wood hay and stubble unless you're doing it by faith and you know um, a friend of mine sent me a list a screenshot of a list that a pastor here on YouTube had planned out all of his teachings and sermons for the next two months and he had them on a calendar, you know. It was the next month or two, I don't know. But what he was gonna do each time and, you know, he said something about, you know, talk about being led by the Spirit. Well, <laughs> you know, I know planning is good, um, but you wonder how much of that is Spirit-led or that's just what he wants to talk about and he's gonna make it happen because I happen to know this person's um, sermons are not spirit led they're very fleshy and he teaches wrong a lot of the scripture and he's he's basically just a carnal babe you know this shouldn't be preaching but anyway and I want to let you guys know um I was led to do Colossians and I'm I'm enjoying it the couple of videos that I put out uh have been enjoyable for me to do and I hope you guys have enjoyed them and I do plan on finishing, but right now I've got so much to do at work, and that's usually time I can put those kind of studies together is at work. Uh, we've got a big construction job proposal coming up that I have a big part in getting stuff ready, so it may be a couple more weeks till that gets turned in before I have time to finish another one. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the Lord does. All right, I love you guys.